Okay, I want to talk a little bit about 3D Studio Max. This is release 9, and I just want to talk about the interface for those people who are very new to Max or have never used it. Uh, first thing with any software package is to be aware of the pull-down menus. If you have the time, it pays to go through these and try to understand what every single pull-down option does. Most of us don't have that kind of time, but uh, that's in a perfect world. That makes a lot of sense because almost everything is there. Then you have your standard um, toolbar, undo, redo, some things I won't go into too much yet except to say that this is your select object button and that's a very important button. Then you got your viewports, four viewports to give you the best default view of your object. And you can change these viewports. You can make it one viewport, two viewports. You can change what each viewport is. Right now this is top, front, left, and perspective. And these are activated by clicking on the viewport. And then you have your timeline. And you can scrub that and move through your animations. Of course, we have no animations right now. And most of the stuff down below here has to do with animations and playing animations and so forth. So I'm going to go to box and just make a box. I can do press, drag, and release. And, and after I've released it, I can release it and move the mouse and describe the height of that box. Now maybe I don't like the color of that box. I can come over here to the right and change the color. Maybe I don't like the box at all. I'm just going to hit the delete key. As long as it's selected, you can delete it. So I'll make another box. Notice that it's selected. See the box around it in white. That's your selection box. What if I don't want it selected? I can go to my selection button and click somewhere else and there's no selection box around it right now. Now if I hit delete, nothing happens. Now if I go in, I've got my selection button highlighted. I go in and click on it. See how it's selected again? Now I can delete it. Now let's go to a box again and just see if we can modify that box. So I'll go to modify and there's the box and here are some parameters that come with a default box. So I can go in and perhaps change the length of it or the width of it, or the height. Um, let's go back and make another box. Create panel, box, and I'll make another one to the side here. I'm just doing a press, drag, release, and drag again, and then click with the left mouse button to describe the height. And I'll change the color on this one by clicking on the color swatch, and let's just go with, um, uh, let's see, greenish. Okay. Now, this box, I want to change something else on. I want to change the link segments. So I'm changing the link segments, and you can probably see those changing in these other viewports. So we'll make a bunch of those, and I can bring it back down. But I don't see them changing here. And one reason is I haven't activated those in this perspective viewport. So I can right-click on perspective here and say I want edged faces. So I right-clicked right on the notation perspective, and I said edged faces. And now you can see those. So that's an important thing that throws a lot of beginners. Uh, how do you get to see those edges? And that's how you do it. I'll turn them off again. Right-click, edged faces is off. Right-click on the perspective word here in the viewport. And edged faces, and now it's on. And you can see it's on with the check mark. Okay. Now I can go back to modify, and since it's selected, I can change the number of segments. See how I'm doing that? Or I can go to this box and change its segments. And it doesn't seem like it really has any purpose right now, but when you go to model, it's very important to be able to change the number of segments on a box or a sphere or whatever your primitive is. Okay, and just a reminder, um, to delete something, just select it, hit the delete key. If you want to move something, there's a move button up here on your standard toolbar. Select and move. So I can grab the red arrow to move it in this X direction, green arrow to move it in Y, and blue to move it in Z. Red, green, blue, X, Y, Z. So I can move this when you select it and move it. Just press and drag on the arrow. There's also some planes here. I can move it within this plane, this X, Y, or this X, Z plane. 
or I can grab this one and move it within this YZ plane. What if I want to see just my perspective viewport right now? I'm just going to go right down here, maximize viewport toggle. So now you can see the big picture. What if you want to go back? Just go back to that toggle. It's going to take whatever viewport you have current, like this one in top, and maximize it. So I'm going to go back to my perspective viewport, and a lot of people work in perspective a lot of the time. So I'm going to click this, move the box around, and that's just a basic introduction to Max and the user interface.